they're deserving of it because they were dealing with a situation that they don't deal with every day and they did it with ease and they did it 100% to what I would have hoped they would. You know, it's, I sound like a proud mum on sports day, but everything that I've ever taught anybody, they put into play that day. Uh, when we get there and we get a fantastic handover from Ellie and Lee and, um, and things started to change unfortunately. So it went from what we thought was a miscarriage, which we were preparing for a, uh, an emotionally traumatic scene, to um, a different scene that was a bit more uh, high intensity, very stressful. Then mum decided to pass out, drop her blood pressure, uh, come quite un poorly, put a call in for a CCP for some support, uh, spoke to Scott briefly and then mum came round, had some contractions, then this sack was produced with a moving fetus, a moving baby, and we were speaking with the midwife and spoke to Sharon, who gave us some fantastic advice about what to do, along with Scott Hardy as well. And we popped the sack, delivered baby, cut the cord, started resuscitation of the signs of life, and yeah, got a baby, to hospital, breathing on its own, pink, crying, and mum being as stable as she could be, really. And when they got to the hospital, I think there was discussion, and this isn't wrong, so babies born before the age of 24 weeks, which is what we consider viable, there's always discussion around whether or not resuscitation should be continued. Um, and they had a discussion with the hospital, and between them as a multidisciplinary team, they came to the conclusion that all efforts should be made for Jessica, because she'd been a little fighter. It's amazing because you don't hear about anything like this until it happens to you. And I don't know anyone else that's had a 23 weeker and been able to bring them home. So it's, they save people all the time, but the fact that they've gotten an award, it must feel nice for them to know that we appreciate them and we, you know, we're forever going to tell her about them too because it's something that you don't see. So you just went above and beyond and you were the advocate for Jessica's parents and for Jessica and I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Tosin who cared for her at St Peter's was blown away by the care that you gave, he could not believe it and before I get really emotional I just want to say thank you, thank you very much. <laughs>